Welcome back, heroes, to some more Pokemon Bazaar. Last episode, we got the third gym badge, made our way to Nirvana Village, and something is going on down here. A politician is trying to take over, get rid of the old ways, because the uh, the leader of this village is, um, looks like they're losing it a little bit. They had, like, goggles on instead of their glasses, uh, not currently at the gym, and that person's gone down south to the forest, and Samira's going after him, because... Target has lots of money, of course she's going to go for him, but um, we need to uh, explore the town and then we'll go and um, check on the, the dude and see what's going to happen in the forest, because he wants to close this like uh, cave where all the ceremony happens, so we'll, we'll see what's going to happen, but I think we'll go to uh, Bangor City today to buy food. Ugh, oh, I'm so tired. You can do it, man. Unless you want me to do it. Uh, I don't want to do it, but <laughs> dragon's type have been the emblem of Nirvana since time immemorial. It's cool because we have a dragon egg ritual. Uh, we give out different types of dragon eggs. I wonder what I'll get when it's my turn. Do you think I can get one? Maybe I'll save the village and I'll get, get a cool dragon type. That'd be sweet. All right, let's go check around here. Sample text. Okay, yes, this joke has already been repeated. Only now in English. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, hi. Oh, young man, do you like Poke Briska? Do you want to play? Uh, not right now. But it's alright. Uh, let's see, what do you sell? Revival herbs, energy root, heal powder. I think I'm good on that. Alright, what else we got? got oh, that's a big house there. Yo, uh, why is there like leaves in your house? But Paul's been uh, trying to revive Nirvana as one of the most influential towns in the region for some time now. Although I think all he uh, craves is power and money. Yeah, I get that feeling too. Like I said, I love the uh, like the autumn leaves. It looks so nice. It's like a library, maybe. Uh, yo, heard that there are evolutions that go beyond traditional Pokemon transformations, but I'm not sure how that works either. Uh, dragon types are only effective against dragon types. If your dragon is well protected, it may be a good idea to take on another dragon. Ooh, berry, thank you. This way you'll be able to protect yourself a little bit against fierce enemies. Unless I got a fairy type, then I'm absolutely screwed. <laughs> Alright, last little place to visit, I believe. But I've come to file a complaint because my neighbor is showering naked on the terrace with a hose. They tell me that we're a bunch of backward people in this town. Now, that is normal. Excuse me, but your mother's backwards, Miss Secretary. <laughs> Wait, what's that machine to the left of her? But uh, hello, this is Nirvana City Hall. Whatever it is, uh, please do not disturb. Okay. Can I go upstairs? Oh, I can. We've got lots of rooms. Uh, hi. This guy, Paul Atishon, uh, he wants to become mayor to set up some kind of lumber company in the forest. He keeps saying it'll be better for the people and so on. Well, he's going to lose it because uh, what we want to do is have some laughs, not work. <laughs> I mean, that's not a good reason to make someone lose. I mean, like, taking down the forest is not good, but oh, the escapee. Hey, hey, uh, no one's supposed to come in. Never mind, forget you ever saw me. I was just coming to casually get rid of some documents that put some work on me. See you later. Okay, <laughs> just jumped out the window. Uh, right, there's, there's nothing here. Can't do anything with this. Right, maybe we'll see them again later on. Uh, yo, need to do a check on when we'll give Rafia's position to her grandson. That damn kid went and set up some fan club type of thing. Huh, like father like son. Yeah, so the, the grandson's gone missing. He's supposed to take over this town, but he vanished. So maybe we'll find him later on, but they put a little plaque next to my desk. I've never been recognized for my work since I uh, flunked my steamroller driver license. <laughs> okay then. Right, uh, that's the town explored then I believe, unless we've missed one little area. So we did some last episode and... Yeah, we checked around there, yeah. So let's go down south and see what's going to happen next. We can also go north. Where does north take us? Oh, so north must take us down to route 8. Well, I'll say down up to route 8. Which I think we'll probably go to... Next episode? Because, yeah, that way will take us up here, but we want to go... Probably get there going this way. I would assume. So let's go down south to the forest. Which we definitely want to save. Don't want, like, the forest be getting cut down and... Oh! Okay. I like the music here, sounds pretty cool. Yo, when I use my psychic powers, I get gassy. <laughs> okay then. Oh, dude. I love this game. Uh, this is bite. Get the flinch. Ah, oh, future sight's fine. We really need some like uh, sound type moves for accordion. They were, they were good. This accordion's gonna be powerful, man. I mean, it's still pretty good now. I mean, Swift's been doing some decent damage. 
Uh, Chimeca, we know it's going to be a ghost type, so just keep fighting. Which doesn't do too much. Oh, please get rid of the confusion. Nice! I'm just going to take two more bites. Let's go! One more, one more. One more bite. One more bite. Sweet! God, we got through the confusion all them times. Nice, dude. That was it. I need to check see what Pokemon we can find around here. Hopefully get some new ones. Uh, there's a dude we can get healed up on. Oh! Why would they make their road so winding and confusing? It's almost as if they want people to get lost on them. Meh, I guess I'll have to ask someone. Huh, who's there? Hey, psst, come closer. You were in the crowd before, right? Uh, I'm looking for Mr. Paul. This is a tremendous mess. Do you know where he went? Uh, all I know is he's in here somewhere. I'll interpret that as a no. Seems that you're not a person of many words. Look, let's make this a little easier. I'll introduce myself and then you introduce yourself. Here, here's my card. Got Nook's card, okay. Interpok. Those are two ticks, okay. Well, and your name is Boltsy? Sounds familiar to me. I know, Latusi told me about you. Oh, well, Boltsy. I don't think we're off to a good start, we're not. So, you're traveling all over the region, are you? Well, it's your lucky day. You're looking at a great master, one of the most important members of the entire Interpok. I have an idea, I'll make you a deal, it's an offer you can't refuse. Look, if you help me, I'll teach you everything I know. It could boost all your skills as a trainer. I'm a master in over 100 arts, a real killing machine. If you join me, I'll teach you how to exploit your full potential. Why are you making that face? Can't you recognize a master at first sight? Come on, it's a deal. Today begins a magnificent relationship between a master and apprentice. I've been tasked with stopping that Nirvana politician. But I got tangled up along the way and arrived just after we went into the woods. I'm a busy guy. Don't look at me like that. We all make mistakes. Try to find Paul. If you find him, show him my card and tell him to uh, go back to the village. I'll go deeper into the forest. This can't be too difficult. I trust you, Voltsy. Okay. Right, uh... So do you heal me up? Yes, alright, fantastic. So if this is the way to go deeper into the forest, I'm gonna go south a little bit so we can fight some people. Or Dino! I will fight you from experience, because it should give me quite a bit. Missing the takedown, nice! And we get a critical hit, fantastic! Alright, one more uh, swift, do the job. Nice, look at that man. Bunch of experience. Just got this dude to fight. But some people claim to have had encountered mysterious apparitions in this forest. So, ooh. Okay, that sounds interesting. Uh, Nuzleaf, which is so whiffed. Ooh, swagger, okay. Get through the confusion. Nice, this is a accordion, man. Getting through the confusion all the time. I like my Feraligator in uh, Pokemon um, uh, Let's Go Lugia. Just just keeps getting hurt by confusion all the time. Oh, it's a go that's what the Goldot looks like. It's got the same sort of hair as Joshua. <laughs> um, so it's Water Steel. I probably should switch. Let's go Sunflora. <laughs> Did, like, no damage. And then we get all that HP back. Whoa. Oh, it transformed. And the music changed as well. Okay, this is kind of sick. That looks so cool! I mean, now it's dead now, but... So, Golduck can change form. And then you can become... Great. Uh, let's switch to Lizard. <laughs> kind of want to get that side up now. I wonder what like, that actually does to it. Like, does it change type or just get different stat boosts? Look kind of cool. Oh, dude, stop changing your type! It's so annoying! Okay, back to Sunny, and then we just pop the beam here. There we go. Man, you are so annoying. Alright. So this leads us to an item. What we got? Ooh. Get all the Adinos I find on the way. I'm gonna fight just because the experience is. It is just too good to pass up. Right now, anyway. We also have got a lucky egg, but I'm, I'm not gonna use the lucky egg just because. I don't wanna get too OP. Uproar! Finally, we've got a. Uh, Sound type of Uh, Volt Switch? Get the record spin. Everyone's growing levels right now, don't want to wish. Sweet. Oh, I've got a dust stone. Anything in this little corner bit here? 
Now I look too suspicious. Sometimes you see a little gap, you think it's gotta be like a hidden item there, or just like a lease or something. Uh, it's gonna run away from you. Oh, you're gonna fight the Ordinos. And trainers, obviously, but people don't believe I have psychic powers. But I'll prove it to you. Okay, please do. I've got to say, I feel like every single Pokemon game you play, all these psychic type trainers are like, look at me, I'm the best, I have psychic powers, I'm so cool. And then you're like, you know there's like 50 million people that also have psychic powers in the Pokemon world, you ain't special. Like, they think they are, but they're not. The only psychic person that's kind of cool is Sabrina. Because she's a gym leader. <laughs> and in the anime, she's kind of creepy. Alright, get them berries and then we'll go back around. So we want to make sure we remember not to jump down there, unless we're coming back. I'll quickly get healed up, just get the PP back and what little HP we took. Alright, let's go deeper into the forest. Hi, how's it going? Some mysterious opponent arrives from the skies. Oh, the sky, I'm coming from the floor, dude. You alright? <laughs> uh, let's go uproar. I'm going to be doing some big damage. Also, I need to see the, the elder of the village again, because I'm pretty sure I only saw her for a second when she walked away. But I think she has an Altaria. Has a hat. <laughs> I need to double check. Could be wrong. Oh, calm down. Fine. One more. Uh, uproar. Oh, you're going to flinch me? Come on, dude. There we go. Which is the worst. Anything around here. So this takes me back towards the start. Do I want to jump down there? I don't think I do. No. So is that a cut tree? Sweet. Uh, hi. I don't consider myself worthy of this belt. I think I'll still have, I think I still have a lot to learn. Here, accept it. Maybe you can put it to another use. Ooh, got a black belt. Thank you. Take good care of it. I probably will not use it. I don't think. <laughs> uh, the barrel, we will uproar! Oh, Hyperfang, you flinch me, dude, you suck. Oh, I can't believe she lived that water pulse, to be honest. And then you missed the Hyperfang? Oh, that sucks to be you, dude! Oh, it's embarrassing how you couldn't take me out. I can just stay in, like. Oh, okay, never mind. Because if I'm taking these hits, I can just probably keep uproaring, take everyone out. Great. Uh, I think we'll go Lizardoid, and then we'll go Bubble Beam. Oh wait, no, I should go Ledian. I forgot Ledian's got a Bullet Punch now. Still, time move would be good. Let's run and get healed up after this. Bullet Punch. There we go. Much better. I forgot we had that. And you're your own Ledian. Okay. Bullet Punch you. Nice. Oh, you got one HP. Ooh. You missed last episode. Our Ledian is an absolute monster. I think I've got to keep on the team. This thing is an absolute powerhouse. Like, single handedly defeated the third gym leader, just destroying them. I don't know, technically, have the type advantage, but still. It's just wrecking everyone. Ooh, let's see if I can get anything with these like, mushrooms. Durant, no thank you. No. Oh! Oh, I didn't even notice that in the, the grass there! <laughs> Be on the lookout then. That's pretty well hidden. A little red Pokeball in the red grass. Just gonna try to focus if I can just see any more. We got a double battle coming up. Uh, I think we'll go. No, I don't want to use Gold Back because it's got the Soothe Bell on. I want to just try and get as much experience as possible. Let's go, Leddy and Lizaroid. Surely this like our starter's got evolved soon, no? Like, I don't know what level it's going to evolve, because it usually starts like, what, between like 35 to 37-ish. Oh, there's the uh, evolution of Wooloo. Them horns look sick. Uh, but you are dark type, so that's good. And then I am probably going to... Oh, okay, that's fine. Suit. Oh, you're not dark type anymore? Oh, you're weak to Bubble Beam. Interesting, okay. You're definitely be weak to this, though. I'm letting him hit multiple times. Nice. I think two's always the default, but just in case, it's all good. Safeguard, nope. Screech. Uh, you know what? I do kind of like Screech. 
Mirror and Supersonic. And then we'll Comet Punch again and Bubble Beam. Oh, discharge. No! It's fine. I was really hoping Ledium would just like, be able to take you out before you went for Discharge. Uh, moonlight. No, I don't need Moonlight. I think I'm just going to use the Rule 5 now. Let's just use the right candy. I'm not going to roll at 40 then. Okay. When is this thing going to live? Well, come uh, live, uh, evolve. That looks cool. Oh. <gasps> Samira. But please help. Something attacked us. We have to call the police. Voltsy, what are you doing here? I swear I didn't do anything. By the time I got here, everything was already a mess. Hey, hey, just a moment. What the hell is going on in here? Oh. Ah, what have they done to him? Damn, the cops. Was this supposed to be an easy mission? <laughs> there were some really weird guys inside. One looked like some kind of robot and attacked Mr. Paul. A robot? How could there be a robot here? And this girl? Uh, I swear I had nothing to do with this. Don't worry. This girl came later and has been helping me take care of Mr. Paul. Nah, I didn't really care who she was. Um, Voltsy, I don't have the foggiest idea what's going on. Would you, would you mind giving me a hand? It's not like I can't do it on my own, it's just that it's important to work as a team. Think he can last a bit longer? Uh, well, the wound is superficial. We managed to move him away from the impact. My companions are further ahead. I don't know if they are well. Uh, very good, Voltsy. Let's get to work. You catch, I mean, we'll catch those people who have attacked them and bam bam! Which way did they go? Now that's a good question. You find them a bit further ahead. Hmm, okay, I'll look. Alright, sure. Now, I'll stay here and take care of Mr. Paul. Yeah, that's right, take care. I'll see to it that nothing happens to him. Okay. <laughs> oh, look at the portal. Hey, everything okay? Ah, you scared me. Uh, thank goodness, a member of Interpoc. Yes, yes, tell me, what happened here? And what the hell is that? Uh, when we got here, we met a girl. This girl was accompanied by a robot. Mr. Paul went over to chase them away, but the robot attacked him. They then entered this portal. My partner followed them, but has been inside for a while and still hasn't returned. A portal? Is that it? Let me see. This is the strangest thing I've come across in many years. And I've even dealt with paranormal ex experiences. I see. You can put your hand in. See? No problem. Ah! <laughs> it, he disappeared. Okay, let's go inside. Gotta be a little bit careful because last time I went into this like area, the, the music got copyrighted. So if it's a completely silent here, then that's why. But hey, what's this? I'm so dizzy. Wasn't expecting such a bumpy ride. Hmm? Where are we? This site reminds me of Temptation Town. Anything related to that event? There seems to be some sort of path that goes on this way. I guess the bodyguards can't have gone very far. We go in. Tell them to come back and leave. I don't want to waste uh, much more time. I have things to do. So don't look at me like that. I'm a busy man, you understand? Okay. Uh, let's go look around. Maybe we can find some cool Pokemon around here as well. Come on, show me something cool. Hell yeah, uh, we'll just take you out. Probably don't want to waste all my PP if we're going to get into like, big fights later. Probably just like run away from now on. Oh, there's one dude. Got a Dawnstone. Sick. Uh, what the hell is this place? I try to warn him, it's dangerous to go any further. There's a girl with a robot, and they are quite dangerous. We don't know where they came from. Alright, so that's the way to go. Let me go back this way. And we'll go explore a little bit. Where is this taking us? Ooh, an item. See? It's good to explore. Are we just going to find LEMs around here? Come on, show me something new. Oh, coffin! Hey, I'll catch that. Alright. Ooh. Nice! As soon as I threw the Pokemon, I thought, oh wait, you're level 33, I don't know if I'm going to get you right away, but... Damn, one and done, man! Oh wait, no, no trade. That's what we like to see. Oh, a Neon Stone. Sweet. Someone did ask in the comments where you get a Neon Stone, because I had one before. Don't remember where I got the first one, but obviously this is where you get another one. So, uh, yeah. Are we going here? Okay. Uh, anything else? Got coffins, porygons, LEMs, and more LEMs. Oh yeah, let's keep following the path around now. Oh, here we go. So you're the one skulking around here, aren't you? Well, hands up and all that, as they say. 
Miss out, sweetie. I need to buy some time. I don't want to get my coordinates mixed up again. Hmm? I think a little force will do the trick. Oh, and take care of the one in the back too. Boltsy, you're here too? So let the adults take care of these issues. Well, let's stop this nonsense. Let's stop what you're doing. Let's get out of here and then you can explain all the fuss you've made. Missile, take care of him, my little boy. He's breaking my concentration. If possible, I'd like to make sure that we don't end up in a strange cave again. And take care of more people. Mm, I think we could discuss this like civilized people, don't you, sir? Missile? Boltsy, do you also believe that everything can be solved by talking? Missile, we could have a coffee together. Talk things over. If you want, I'll buy you coffee. Oh, please, will you shut up already? Missile, let's teach them the art of ACP technology. Activated melee combat system. Coupe de glace. Oh, oh, he's got like a black eye. Do you want to fight too? We can't waste much time. We have to get back to the others. If not, Stain will blame us again. Won't he, my sweet little boy? My metal is as bright as the perfection of slaughter. <laughs> oh, he's so smart. So let the show go on. Go ahead, Missile, I'll prove that I have created the best AI in recent times. Activate and train a system. Memory circuits activated. Pokemon ready. Initiate in battle. Oh, look at how smart you are. Oh, it's kind of creepy. Okay, that's a scary name as well, Missile. <laughs> Alright, Fortress. Uh, I'm just going to U-turn out. And we'll go Golbat. Acrobatics. Ooh, I thought like I might do a little bit more. Uh, okay, Thunder Fang's not too bad. And you're gonna hide the potion, of course. Explosion, no, don't kill my Golbat. Do not kill my Golbat, do not kill my Golbat. I need it to live, yes! Ooh, that was lucky. That was very lucky. All right, let's go back into Ladia. Comet Punch. Hit five times. I mean, three times still pretty good. Again. Hit four times we are in. Oh, man. Hyper potions are okay. Thank you for a bullet punch. Alright, next we are. I'm gonna go accordion. Apple. Alright, let's go, man. Accordion, you got this. Just keep up roaring and we can win. Ooh, uh, oh, no, it's fine, it's fine. So creepy, man. I really do not like this, uh, Glorigurus. It's just, ugh. Creepy. Okay. Uh, what to go for, what to go for? The fire type would be sick. Let's go Psywave. Okay, keep doing this a little bit. Oh, that does a lot though. And then Quick Claw BB! I think we had Quick Claw on. <laughs> nice. And Clang. Uh, I guess I can stay in. Keep side waving, it's not too bad. You got a crit. So oh no, I thought I was going to finish off. So close. Alright, if Lizard Roy can outspeed you, we win. Oh no, I forgot the spikes. Oh, I got a script error. Okay. Fine, it's fine. Uh, Giga Drain. It's fine, it's fine. Just finish it off. Ooh, that was a little bit scary. Just a little bit. System. Oh, a robot. System failure. Ro uh, result not predictable. Error, error, error. No way. My sweet little nut, are you okay? Next time, I'll take care of you. But now, we have to go. I hope you don't mind. Let's go, missile. Well then, you okay? Voltsy, what happened? I don't remember what happened. My head hurts like it uh, did when I signed up for that wrestling tournament. Where are those two? You fought them? Oh, you even beat that robot in a battle? Huh, that's because I had already uh, loosened the nuts a bit. They, so they escaped. Eh, never mind. I'll let everyone know what happened. Let's get out of here to check on Mr. Paul. Okay, I mean, to be fair, to get back up after getting, like, punched by a robot? Insane. But you're finally out. I thought you were stuck in there. No, no, no way. It was all planned. Isn't that true, Voltsy? Did you let them escape? Interport can no longer be trusted. <laughs> Shut up, you hooligan. You hooligan. If I hadn't healed that wound, who knows what would have happened. 
These young people, well yeah, she's got an Altaria for a hat. <laughs> uh, these young people today have no respect for anything. Who told you to come to the center of the forest? Uh, I keep making excuses. Let's see if you'll learn your lesson once and for all. You come to sully the place where we hold the village ceremony to choose the next leader. And on top of that, you complain. Right, I'd already forgotten why I came. Uh, Mr. Paul, you're coming with me. There's something Interpok wants to talk to you about. With me? Yes, I'm afraid these are certain issues in these lands. Uh, we know you want to take over Nirvana Village to build your empire. What the hell are you talking about? You can complain at the police station. Voltsy, thanks for the help and all that. If you need anything, let me know. We're leaving. Okay. Hey, lady. Aren't you going to take care of our dear friend, the mysterious floating portal? Hey, who are you? Uh, nothing. Forget it. Portal? I don't see any portal. These young people today are up to, the, up to their eyeballs and drugs. They no longer have respect for their own bodies. My work here is finished. I'm going to the gym. Okay, then. Uh, well, Voltsy, I found uh, a nice little wallet. I suppose I'll use this money for the beehive. Oh, the beehive? It's a bar that we have in Open, open Work Swamp. Lately, business is going pretty well for us. Hmm? I don't know why I'm telling you this. Before I go, listen to me for a moment. I like your style. You keep going on straight ahead. You're like a steamroller. There's no stopping the way you fight. I've always admired people with your skills. I shouldn't waste my time with you, but I can't help but want to rematch against you. I'll be waiting for you later. Be careful. I was going to say, if you want to rematch now, I'm going to probably lose. But I, I like Samira. I like, I, I don't know why, but I really like it in games where like someone like wrongs you, like steals something from you, or just like is the enemy and then they become your friends. I mean, sometimes. Sometimes they go too far and I don't like it. But yeah, sometimes it's just like a little innocent robbery or something. It's, it's, it's all good. But I think it's probably a great place to end this part off though. Next episode, we go take on um, this Raffia. Is it, is it Raffia? Go get the fourth gym badge and then we head up north and make our way to the swamp, I guess. So, I think guys, I think it's, is it the swamp? Let me double check. I'm pretty sure I read swamp up north. Uh, route 10, route 8. Mount, I don't know if we'll be going here, but up here we got King's Pond and yeah, the, the Beehive, the Open Work Swamp, and Straight City, the Church and Cemetery. Okay, anyway, I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Peace.